as a person who's taught at all levels, primary, secondary and tertiary for many years, I, I think I understand the issues of trying to get theory into the practical situation. I do a lot of, of workshops all around the world doing just that, trying to show teachers how to apply theory into, into practice. And uh, I, I believe that this new edition, which is so finely honed now compared to the earlier editions, will do that very, very well. Teaching is a very creative process. And to be a really good teacher, you have to be creative, you have to challenge students and do all these sorts of things. And that's what I think is uh, so important. And I suppose some of my own enthusiasm for teaching is rubbed off in the chapters. I'm a very enthusiastic teacher. I love teaching people of all different levels and ages. And I think that uh, that's what I'm trying to impart in the chapters in the book. National curriculum, of course, is the buzzword at the moment. It's in the papers every day. And it is a very big issue. I've got a, a new, brand new chapter on national curriculum and equity. This will give a lot of guidance to teachers and should help them in their planning and working out what items they're going to teach. So it should be very, very valuable. The equity issue is also important. And I also include a new chapter on this because we have the problem in Australia that our socio-economic groups are such that the well-off children do well at school and it perpetuates this cycle. The children that don't come from families with, with uh, appropriate income or background tend not to do well and they again follow through the cycle of their parents. So equity is a major issue. I believe that these are the two major issues in education at the moment to try and address this, to try to improve the equity issue and of course to make sure that the national curriculum works. But this time I've included lots and lots of ICT computer examples to show how teachers can use ICT in their style of teaching, in the modes of learning and teaching they use. So I include lots and lots of examples of that. I'm pretty excited about this, this next edition. It's got a lot more reflection and issues in it. Uh, so therefore, more thought provoking for the readers. And the other thing which I think is pretty important is that one of the other hats I wear is I'm the editor of a journal, Curriculum Perspectives. So I get the very latest ideas from contributors to that journal, and I'm able to include those in the editions of the book. So all in all, I think this new edition is going to show up very well indeed. I use ICT regularly and luckily as you can see around, I'm fortunate enough to have computers in my classroom. The best way to in ensure equity is to, to again use a range of different um, uh, learning techniques. Everything that I was going to do was planned through it and the lesson plans that I completed at university, I used them. Uh, the questions that Jenny and I um, developed to put to the teachers were all about eliciting how they put theory into practice and how it lived and breathed in their classrooms and the sorts of things that we had expected to see was a variety of different answers so that our um, pre-service teachers could see that theory lived in many different ways and could be applied in many different classrooms. And, and by them reflecting upon um, those questions that are posed to the practicing teachers, they can decide what's relevant to them and appropriate to them and in a way provide themselves with some armour for the challenges of the mm. everyday hustle and bustle of being in a classroom. They can make those yeah. choices. Is that appropriate to me? Would I be able to cope with that? Yeah. So it's almost like a getting ready and preparing them um, with greater relevance to the practical situation. Okay, the unique um, nature of this project is that there does exist um, a, an enormous bank of international teacher videos um, where teachers are talking and inviting um, the viewers into their classroom. What is missing is an Australian content. 
and that's what we saw um, as incredibly important for our students and also for a teaching resource for us is having Australian teachers talking about Australian contexts and Australian issues and so being able then to use those as teaching tools in our classrooms with our students. So it's important in the middle years to allow them to be part of the, um, the behaviour management process in the classroom. So right at the start of the year I tend to have a big discussion with the class about what it means to learn in the classroom, what it looks like, what it feels like, what it should sound like. Um, and through that discussion we start taking notes and we start thinking about what our classroom is going to look like, sound like and feel like. So. Um, through that joint construction we come up with a set of classroom rules that we feel are a positive way of discussing what it is that we're going to be looking for throughout the year and then um, we then send that home to the parents with a covering letter to say that through a discussion that we've had with the children this is what we've decided as um, our classroom behaviour management strategy and um, we're all on the same page.